What were your feelings about the championship at this stage on lap one of the first race? After practice, I realised the championship was going to be between myself and Alistair, and as, as you can see, he's uh, off like a man possessed there and was really setting his stall out for the rest of us. A gentle little nudge there, and I don't think that was uh, you doing the nudging. Uh, but it was Richard Hand finding himself in the kitty litter. And as you came down at the end of the first lap, up to second place here. That's right, I dived inside Alistair and then I've, I've obviously got to cover myself for uh, Luffield 1. And I think you'll see I get a, a fairly gentle tap here if Alistair ever gives a gentle tap. And uh, he's back past me again. And um, I dived for the inside as we approach Woodcut and um, Alistair moved over on me. I thought the best thing to do was to give him a little bit of room here. And... Uh, to avoid any sort of incident. Uh, it wasn't the time of year to get involved in that sort of thing. And the man in front about to lose a place there as we go with Philip Varela now aboard his car was Ian Flux, one of the early front runners. Piers Johnson now took his turn at the front and this is when things started to go wrong for Loudon in the first round. That's right, yes, I'd seen him, I'd looked over, and I wasn't expecting Brian Heary to make that move there, and uh, I got a fairly good whack up the side, Ian Flux spun to avoid me, and I was beginning to think uh, this wasn't the ideal way to start the season, but uh, I got off, got, got going again, and uh, the rear near side wheel was badly deranged, and I've still got my cone, but uh, let's see how it pans out. Meanwhile, on board with John Llewellyn, he was watching Martin Joblin trying to make a place here, and thought it might be a good idea to follow him through if he could make it. Both of them getting up and alongside Dave Wardock, and Wardock having to give best on that particular occasion. 